Despite my skepticism, Nick Stevens was in fact quite serious about being the new general manager of the PWA. Hello once again, my name is Aaron Hurt. Welcome to another edition of Premier Wrestling Alliance, and we're going to 
move on and talk about another big announcement that we have to bring to you. We're going to get to Tommy Forte in singles action against the Southern Knight, Brian Blade. But before that, I want you to hear this conversation that I had with Forte and his partner in Forte Rico, Jeremy Rodriguez, and hear about their future plans. So let's go to those comments right now. Hello, PWA fans. Aaron Hurt, joined at this time by two gentlemen you've come to know quite well in 2018 here in the PWA, the team of Forte Rico, right. Tommy Forte on my left, Jeremy Rodriguez yeah. on my right. We have seen the success they've achieved as a tag team, recently branching out into singles action with an equal amount of success. They've asked for this time to address you fans and give you an update on what is next from Forte Rico. Well, Aaron, I'm going to tell you something. You know, just like everybody else in the PWA knows, that Forte Rico is the top tag team around here. Now, we just, me and my partner Jeremy were talking the other day, and we figured, what can Forte Rico do to make Forte Rico better? Why not branch off and do some one-on-one? -on -one? Bring as much gold as we can to Forte Rico. Ain't that right, Jeremy? Like, 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 come on, like what he said. Listen, this is not a funeral, guys, so please do not get sad. We're not breaking up officially. We just know that the mountaintop has something good for us. I mean, let's, an example real quick. This past April, my man, Tommy Forte, almost became the PWA heavyweight champion. Almost. And you see what I did against Wicked Will, too. He wasn't that wicked after that match. So we just realized that, listen, we got this energy. We got this fuego that just consumed not just us, but also the wonderful PWA fans. So we realized, hey, you know what? Not just tag team go. We can make singles go, too. So that's what we're doing. We're not dying. We're not just, hey, we're just over this. We're just going to turn Forte Rico up a notch. And we're going to go for all the gold because we know the talent that we have. And you know what? It's time that we show everyone that we can take it above and beyond. That's right. And don't get it twisted. I want anybody to get it twisted. Ah. I've got my boy's back. Yeah. He's got my back if I need him. Yeah. Forte Rico, you never know when they're going to show up and maybe take some tag team gold or put the whooping on anybody in the PWA. Well, there you have it, fans. Whether you're a singles competitor or a tag team competitor, you better keep your eyes peeled for one or both of these two gentlemen. Just more of that Forte Rico energy to go around here to come in the PWA. That's right. Wepa! You never know! Hello, everyone. Aaron Hurt here with you to bring you some more great PWA action. So many things to talk about on this edition of the program. We'll start with the words that you just heard from Tommy Forte and Jeremy Rodriguez. Clearly both men determined to test the waters as singles competitors. We've seen both men have a significant amount of success uh, in past singles matches. Uh, Tommy Forte took former champion Gary Gandy to the limit. We'll talk about Brian Blade coming off of a, a devastating loss himself. We saw our last edition fans, we saw Brian Blade take our new champion, Randy the Rowdy Hillbilly, to the limit. Gotta wonder if uh, there's gonna be a letdown factor coming off that tough loss. But for Tommy Forte's initiation, if you will, as a fully fledged singles competitor, you couldn't pick a, a better opponent to uh, test your medal against. Blade goes right to work with that side headlock. Power versus power, but youth versus experience, for sure. In this particular matchup, you see the power that the young Tommy Forte possesses. Using the strength to get out of that headlock and turn it into a hammer lock. Blake clearly wants to maintain as much momentum as he can. Keep his spot in the upper echelon of the rankings. The interesting thing about Tommy Forte and Jeremy Rodriguez going solo, if you will, is that they're now in direct competition in those very same rankings for future opportunities at champion Randy Rowdy Hillbilly or the still to be decided vacancy of the U.S. Championship. You heard Nick Stevens, our new commissioner, be very vague about what may happen with that. Nothing vague about the shoulder tackle or the elbow drop. Tommy Forte quickly makes the cover. And Blade sensing discretion is the better part of Valor this stage of the match. Rolls outside for a breather. 
as I said, I'm worried about a bit of a letdown factor with Brian Blade in the sense that he spent so many weeks trying to earn that opportunity against Randy coming up short may affect his confidence he came up short on a pair of elbows there with a sizing up blade now he clamps on a side headlock hasn't been able to get a distinct advantage thus far into the match and we are a couple of minutes into things here we've got much much more to bring to you as well tonight, fans, we're going to have Krypton and Jeffrey Johns once more, their third encounter in the PWA. A pair of reverse atomic drops there, certainly going to affect the weekend plans of the Southern Knight, Brian Blade. We've got a great main event for you tonight as well. man still apparently in the camp of our former champion Gary Gandy speaking of wicked will he gets to take on Mr. Sinner's world Jimmy Fahrenheit have to see how things sit with those two gentlemen Gandy and Will got to talk about this pinning combination right here I'll cover off of the lariat Blade never really able to get rolling here, but Tommy Forte, full of confidence, as we said, really trying to establish himself as a singles competitor. We've seen him, as I mentioned previously, have great success as a single against the likes of Gary Gandy, against many others. And it was good to hear that the, there's no acrimony between Forte and Rodriguez and clearly they will still have an eye out for each other. Nice leg lariat there. Another two count blade reaches out and grabs the bottom rope. Appears to be trying to conserve some energy at this point of the match. A big right hand from Tommy Forte. Another one sends Blade stumbling backwards. Third one takes him off his feet. Drops a big leg. Might be enough to finish off Blade here, but not quite. Quite to say, Tommy Forte quite impressive. Brian Blade not out of things yet. Blade, the KG veteran, uses the closed fist, drives it right to the forehead. Forte clearly reeling from the impact of that. Nonchalant cover though from Blade, trying to send a message to the young man. At this stage of Blade's career, he's ever more determined to maintain his spot as one of the stalwarts in the locker room a manner of speaking. He clearly still dish out a right hand. Whips Forte across. He comes charging in from the opposite corner using all 315 pounds. And a sneaky back heel trip there. Again, perhaps looking for the cannonball. Sets his sights. Oh! That 
might put an end to Forte's night rather unceremoniously. See how hard he's breathing. Only supported by the ropes. The contingent of fans here supporting Ryan Blade. As we said, has made quite an impression on people with his recent run of things. But he's not going to beat Tommy Forte like that. I understand trying to send a message to your opponent in a match. But at this point, he's just costing himself the proverbial trip to the pay window. Not in public here in Lancaster. Again, tries to zero in. Oh! He connected with that senton. Didn't get very far off his feet, but you don't need to. Gravity will do the rest when you're 315 pounds. Twisting backsplash there, but only a two count. Blade pulling out every trick he can think of to put away one of the, the young studs of the PWA locker room, Tommy Forte. As we have established, has officially put the rest of the locker room on notice that he's looking for singles gold. An individual glory and will be approaching it with the same tenacity he and his erstwhile partner did as perhaps the most dominant tag team thus far in the PWA 2018. That's That's been fascinating to watch, the tag team division. Blade looking for a hangman's neck breaker here. Could be the big move that gets him the victory. It appears to be quite winded, unable to make it all the way over for a proper cover. Oh, Blade thinks he's won this one. Forte, as you clearly see, got his foot on the ropes to break the referee's count. This little conversation Blade and the referee are having gives Forte plenty of time to recover. on the short end of things here for a significant amount of time but it can all change in an instant as we see O'Connor rolled comes up with the pinning combination and gets the three count another tough loss for Brian Blade but a great victory for Tommy Forte Getting things in his singles career off to a great start here in the PWA. We'll be back after this, fans. Hello, PWA fans. My name is Aaron Hurt, here to tell you all about how you can keep up with PWA online. Just search PWA Ohio on Facebook or on YouTube, or check out PWAOhio.com for all of the latest information about upcoming events, the latest videos and highlights of past events, and interviews with your favorite PWA wrestlers. So make sure that you like and follow all of those pages. That's PWAOhio.com, PWA. PWA Ohio on Facebook and PWA Ohio on YouTube and follow along with all of us here from Premier Wrestling Alliance and we hope to see you at the PWA Arena very soon. Should be a very exciting contest fans there you see Jeffrey Johns in the ring his opponent Krypton greeting all of these fans who have taken an instant liking to him. Although he has yet to 
four pinfall in PWA competitions. He's impressed the entire PWA audience with his performance. You see the kind of tactics Jeffrey Johns has had to resort to to get the upper hand on Krypton in their first two matches. Stomps away. Gives no credence to the referee's count. Backs off only to gloat to these fans once again. Oh! Johns counters the chop with a stiff clothesline. This is just the third match we've seen from either one of these men. Faced each other two other times. Made their debut at our Red, White, and Blues event. Krypton desperately wants a victory here, not just to get off the schneid, if you will, and get a victory. Oh, my. Look at the aggression from Johns in this match. Given no openings to Krypton. to display that explosiveness that we've seen from him. Takes the mask that Krypton shared with one of our young fans here. And takes a boot to the face for his troubles and a second one. Krypton's already coming into this match with high emotions being even further antagonized here. Now looks to finally start getting some offense of his own going. Ducks under. Comes up with the head scissors. Imagine these fans will erupt if Krypton is able to get a victory after two tough losses to Jeffrey Johns. Perched on the top turnbuckle, what's he got in mind here? All the way down with the big splash, and that's it! What a moment for Krypton. His first victory in the PWA. And finally giving a little bit of comeuppance to Jeffrey Johns in the process. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Krypton! The reaction of these fans speaks for itself. Great victory by Krypton. We've got much more to come on this edition, fans. Stay tuned. PWA fans, Aaron Hurd here with you. If you like what you are seeing on YouTube, then don't miss the opportunity to see the action live and in person. The first Saturday of every month at the PWA Arena, 737 Slocum Avenue in Lancaster. Premier Wrestling Alliance is in action, plus select dates in towns near you. Check out PWAOhio.com for tickets for not just the arena events, but all events. Arena events start at $5.00. And that's PWAOhio.com for all of your ticket information. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, the team of Outlaw Tony James and the franchise player Chris Pruitt.
on behalf of all of these fans, congratulations for getting back in the win column after losing those titles that you held for so many months back at Red, White, and Bruised. Once again, like I said, it's great to see you guys back on the same page and being successful here in the tag team division of PWA. Yeah. Well, wait a second. I want to address this same page back on the right track. Some people even say that we're on the winning track. Well, thanks to the PWA, tonight we were on the dirt track. Oh. They had us fighting mud flat Mr. Green Jeans. <laughs> We're the former tag champs. Where's our rematch? Nowhere. You got the PWA more worried about putting some buffoon out here as the general manager. Hey, what about us? You bring up Red, White, and Bruce. Thank you so much for pouring the salt in the wounds on that one. I'm sick and tired of everybody in the back. And saying, I want a title shot. I want a rematch. I want cake. Well, they can eat their cake for all I care. I'm sick of it. And this interview's over. My partner, Sony James. It's been, it's been a rough few weeks. You know, losing the tag team titles after we had held them for, for nine months or, or so, taking on any and all challengers. We're, we're a little frustrated with, uh, with the way uh, the way we lost those titles. I got faith in the PWA. I, know the, I think that we'll get a we'll get a rematch, and when we get the rematch, it'll be uh, it'll be our time. And we'd we like to shout at them again. We'd like to shout at the tag team. Yeah. I imagine that's only a matter of time. Once, uh, please apologize to Tony James if my line of, of questioning was out of bounds. But are you guys planning to take your issues to the new commissioner? Despite Tony's feelings on that uh, approach, are you going to try to get him to grant you a title match or are you just going to wait until the opportunity presents itself? You know, I was sitting in the back watching as Nick Stevens came out here and was announced as the new general manager. <laughs> you know, I brought the room down a little bit, you know. If, if things were tough, they might be a little bit tougher, but more tough now. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, you, you have to imagine the PWA front offices have, have, have some sort of faith in Nick Stevens for some reason. Uh, I've not, I've not seen it, but uh, we'll find out. Well, fans, there you have it, the words of the former tag team champions, franchise player Chris Prue and his partner outlaw Tony James, looking to get back in title contention as soon as possible. Well, fans, it appears that I, I caught Tony James a little bit more on edge than even as usual for him. I'll try to tread a little bit more lightly in the future, and I hope that this uh, does not represent a stumbling block for the former tag team champions, uh, that they are able to get back on track towards reclaiming those titles. I have very little doubt that we will see that happen sooner rather than later. But right now, we're going to go to our main event, former tag team champion, former heavyweight champion, Mr. Center of the Earth, Jimmy Fahrenheit, going to take on Wicked Will. And and surprisingly enough, Will will be seconded by Mr. Five Star Gary Gandy. When you look back at what transpired in our last edition, fans, somewhat curious to see these two side by side once again, but we'll have to see if that has any bearing on this match, if Jimmy Fahrenheit needs to watch out for the interference of Gary Gandy like we most likely assume that he will. So that will be our main event, fans, and we're going to go right to that action. Introducing first, and we have 177 pounds from right here in Lancaster, Ohio.
All right, fans, you see the combatants for our main event, Wicked Will in the ring, Jimmy Fahrenheit making his way up to the apron after greeting his many, many fans here at ringside at the PWA Arena. A far more content five-star Gary Gandy, apparently this time around. Now that our new general manager, Nick Stevens, has granted him a rematch, at the new PWA champion, Randy. That appears to have helped smooth things over quite a bit with Will. Our last edition saw them nearly disintegrate, come to blows more than once. The tension just boiling over, but Gandy here to support Will in this big main event. Jimmy Fahrenheit would like nothing more than to ruin the good mood that Gandy and Will appear to be in, at least compared to the way they left us last time. These two men have had a rivalry that stretches all the way back to the very beginnings of PWA. Across paths numerous times under a variety of conditions. Will rolls through, reverses the arm ringer. Both these men, as we said, know each other quite well. Have a great assessment of each other's strengths and weaknesses. Should make for Yet another fantastic main event here on PWA. But Will, with a bit of disrespect on that exchange, now it's Mr. Center of the Earth, the former tag team champion, the former heavyweight champion. Got to go behind, but Will bursts the grip, comes up with a takedown, floats over, front face lock. Very basic wrestling, but very sound game plan. Will has complete control of things from this position. But now with Fahrenheit able to, again, come up with the arm ringer, they go back to square one. The familiarity with each other certainly makes these two men hesitant to leave an opening for their opponent. Now Fahrenheit trying anything he can do to get out of this full arm dragon twist. Back and forth here, Gandy watching intently on the outside. Not sure if Jimmy Fahrenheit's partner Chase Bryant is anywhere nearby if needed. But Jimmy Fahrenheit has obviously done enough to draw Gary Gandy into the ring. Oh, and sends him out just as quickly. Referee apparently felt that Fahrenheit had things well under control as he did. Oh, but Will pulls down that top rope, sending Jimmy Fahrenheit all the way to the concrete floor. Could be the turning point in this match. Will clearly has the advantage being on the, the inside, but Fahrenheit comes up with a shoulder block and a sunset flip. Deep arm drag, now starting to find a groove offensively. Big hip toss. A little bit of extra emphasis on it. Another cover. It's still only a two count. Oh, had the monkey flip scouted. 
connected with a foot. Seemed to graze Fahrenheit. Enough to take him down, but not enough to put him out for sure. Big suplex from Will. Makes the cover. Fahrenheit able to kick out. Andy advocating for Will to the referee. Big leg drop. Didn't hook the leg. Didn't have the weight distributed well across the shoulder. Tries again. Still only two. As quickly as Fahrenheit took control, he seems to have lost it as Will puts all 177 pounds across the neck and the back. And ever so Ares unceremoniously dumps Fahrenheit to the outside where he is at the mercy of Gary Gandy, unbeknownst to the referee. Gandy says he's just trying to help him back in. Cover forces the shoulders down. But Fahrenheit able to use his leg strength to power out. Big clothesline. Another near fall. Fahrenheit struggling to stay in this match. Give Will credit for a spectacular outing thus far. Two fair height across. Comes charging. But gets hoisted up and dropped midsection first. Variation there. Now a gut wrench. Hang and think about it. What strength from Jimmy Fahrenheit. Somewhat uncharacteristic power maneuver, but well executed. He might have taken Will's best shot and survived. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Will looking for here. He said no. He said no. Essentially a sleeper. Almost like a million dollar dream for Cobra Clutch. Really weakening Fahrenheit. That's what Will adjusted his position towards the back, he would have been able to get more pressure on the carotid. And, and instead, Fahrenheit able to power back to his feet. Some chops. Takes Will up on his shoulder, but Will finds the back door and comes up with a sling blade. Drapes an arm over for the cover. We've seen the competitors in every match this evening push themselves to the absolute limit. No different in this main event. Both competitors giving it all that they all that they have. Big sidewalk slam from Will. We've seen him put opponents away with that as of late. But Fahrenheit smartly gets as far away as he can. Falls over, again drapes the arm across. They've been clearly exhausted by this point. Could be the next big move decided 
the victor of this match. Oh, oh, Candy inadvertently thought that he had hooked the foot of Fahrenheit, but instead took out Will. And they're right back to where they were last episode, fans. At each other's throats. Gives Fahrenheit the opportunity he was looking for. Power slam. Likes to follow this up with another high impact maneuver to finish his opponents off, but Will quickly back to his feet. Is he gonna go from here? Takes him up in the fireman's carry. Oh, F5! Might have taken a bit of luck to get the victory, but nonetheless, Jimmy Fahrenheit, your winner here in tonight's main event. Could have very easily gone the other way, though, if Gandy hadn't miscalculated and accidentally tripped up Will at a crucial point. Another great addition of the program here, fans about to wrap things up. Oh, but not before we get a bit of a stare down. Show of sportsmanship here from Fahrenheit. Clearly, a gesture not return. Will seems to have a lot on his mind these days. But as we leave things this time, he's still trying to talk it out or he's just listening to Gary Gandy's explanation. We'll keep you updated on that story, on everything else that's going on. Our new general manager, Nick Stevens. What's going to happen with the U.S. Championship? Tommy Forte, Jeremy Rodriguez branching off into solo competition. And tension and turmoil still between former champion Gary Gandy and his lackey, for lack of a better term, Will. Well, fans, you saw Gary Gandy's attempt at intervention backfire for uh, his charge, Wicked Will. Uh, this situation uh, appears to be more and more dysfunctional and appears to be uh, the proverbial powder keg that will just take yet one more spark to possibly explode. But that will do it for this edition of PWA fans. Want to thank you for joining us. So many big events that transpired. The announcement from Nick Stevens, the news about Forte Rico, Krypton getting his first big victory plus that big main event. So we're glad that you were here. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you come back next time for more PWA.